after na impress ako sa Oppo Reno 8 ang kanyang non-pro variant, here comes the pro variant. So I expect this one to be a lot better compared dun sa kanyang predecessor or probably kapatid niya na non-pro. But as far as I'm concerned, this unit is not yet on sale. Makukuha nyo pa lang to sa Globe na G-Plan 1499 with a free Oppo Enco Air 2. Tara, tinan muna natin kung ano kakaya nito. Hi guys, I'm Basil Chiman, Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. So this is the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. The box is almost the same doon sa kanyang non-pro variant na kapatid. And I have here is one out of two colors na meron ni Oppo Reno 8 Pro, which is the blaze game. The other one is the black color. This one is a 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gig of storage. So, buksan mo na natin. So, we are always greeted by a, well, small pouch. Inside, we have all the stuff na kailangan natin. SIM checker tool, quick start guide and safety guide, jelly case. Malambot siya. Ito mismo yung Oppo Reno 8. And... And dito yung mga specs na kailangan mo malaman. And this one is being highlighted by the Marie Silicon X Imaging NPU which gives you a lot better na camera performance and it also supports 4K na ultra night video. It's being powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Mac and 80 watts na Superbook charging. Tanggalin natin. Ooh, nice. Hmm, this color looks very familiar. Not far from that kay OnePlus 10T na Jade Green. And yeah, kind of strikingly look-alike din ang kanyang likod. Except siguro kanyang camera pop. And what I like about dito is unibody siya. So hindi siya yung hati siya dito. This one, it has a continuity from the camera module all the way. This is kanyang katawan. So makita mo, may, parang may slant, may slope siya. And kind of looks cool. Medyo kakaiba siya. And dito sa gilid niya, meron din siyang continuity. Oh. Tinan mo guys, may chamfer siya dito. Which is looking different from the rest of the pack. We have your 80 watts na Superbook charge and your charging cable to complete everything. Well, looks good, pero medyo parang nabawasan konti ang ganda ng kanilang likod. This is the original color and this is the one na pag may frosted, semi-frosted na back case. I like the one better, the color better pag walang suot. So, what do you think guys? Yung gilid niya is frosted. Tabi muna natin to. So, quickly, pasyalin ko lang kayo dito sa phone na ito. Sa lalim siya loudspeaker, Type-C port. Microphone in and force kind of SIM tray. Sundutin ko lang. It supports two nano SIM na 5G. Sa likod meron siyang triple camera na 50MP. Sa likod meron siyang 50MP na triple camera lens. Sa gilid ng kanyang power button na may green na etching. Then of course, ang nandiyan ang kanyang mga antenna bands. Sa ibabaw, nandiyan ang kanyang second loudspeaker. And of course, ang kanyang noise cancelling mic. On the other side, nandiyan ang kanyang volume rocker. Sa harap ang kanyang 32MP na punch hole camera. So ito ay tsura ni Oppo Reno 8 Pro. So it kind of looks almost similar sa Reno 8. Except that the bezel is a lot more thinner this time around. Kita natin on the sides and sa chin and sa ibabaw, quite small. So this one rounds out to be roughly 91% screen to body ratio, which is definitely okay. Ang kanyang bezel for me, kasi ang nipis. Okay, to for viewing movies, viewing videos, and playing games. Now, this phone na ito is being powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Max. And it's a 5 nanometer chip, 5 gen capability niya, and it's octa core. So, right now, gusto ko lang makita yung kanyang Antutu benchmark na score. And it was able to gather a really nice and decent score, 700,000 ang score niya. And Breaking it down, so these are the scores na makikita natin. So, tinry natin siya i-throttling test. Makikita natin na ang kanyang performance quite good. Though, there are some times na medyo nag-yellow siya konti. But overall, okay siya. Hindi naman siya nag-throttle. Magandang ganyang score na nakuha dito sa wildlife. So, mini this phone can give you some real nice gaming experience. Nag-agree din si Geekbench, giving it a nice score like this one. And this one is running the latest na Color OS 13. And did you know guys that this one is also inside the Android 13 na rin. And again, these are some of the specs na gusto natin malaman. Ang kanyang battery capacity is 4,500. Ang kanyang RAM is 12 gigs. So, kaya natin expand up to double. Okay, so 12 times 2 is 24 gigs of RAM. Kaya natin expand virtually. And it's also being powered by the Mario Silicon X na NPU. So 4K Ultra Night Video, 4K Ultra HDR Video, and... It can also enhance other camera apps. So, this phone, nito, like I said, 4,500 mAh and battery. It can support up to 80 watts of super vogue charging. So, we try to charge from 20 to 100. Tapos naman siya in just 30 minutes. Mabilis. And upon testing this phone nito for more than a week dito sa aking studio, it can last me for a full day without a problem on normal usage like using camera, social media, watching some videos and playing some mild games. 
So this phone is a 6.7 inch AMOLED display, one billion colors can yung kaya reproduce, 120 hertz ang kanyang screen refresh rate, HDR10 plus, and ang kanyang max brightness is at 915 nits. It's being protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass, and of course, it can display up to 1080p. Watching videos dito for me okay siya, dahil ang laki na kanyang screen, malipis ka na bezel. Watching videos dito, I can say okay, like uh, YouTube, Netflix, lahat yam panalo panalo. And the colors are bright and punchy. The black is blacker. And I enjoy ko definitely dito watching my favorite K-pop songs. And of course, some movies over here is definitely okay. So as per checking sa ng loudspeaker, medyo hindi siya balanced. So sa ilalim lima butas, sa ibabaw isa lang butas ang kanilang loudspeaker. Medyo mas mahina yung bugado sa ibabaw. But overall, ang kanilang sounds just normal. Nothing really loud. And just if you want to use... Uh, if you want a more immersive experience when you're listening to music on Spotify or YouTube Music, I suggest na gumamit ka na ng TWS. Now, nakita natin kanina mga scores natin, mga benchmark when it comes to gaming. Okay, it can really game to phone na ito. was able to play the Call of Duty Mobile na matagalan, roughly mga 3 to 4 hours ng non-stop. This one can display up to 120Hz of screen refresh rate. Ang viewing angle ko dito is definitely bigger kasi almost bezel-less naman siya. So, the touch response on the screen is good and nilagay natin sa performance mode so this one was able to breeze me through giving me that more immersive experience when it comes to gaming probably one of the things na medyo napansin ko is medyo mas minit dito roughly mga 44 degrees celsius ang na check ko no using my thermometer dito somewhere dito medyo mainit so well i suggest the using a game cooler might help so pag-usapan natin ang kanyang camera this one is being powered by the Mar silicon x na NTU giving you a better immersive experience when it comes to night photography in this phone na ito. And it starts with a 50MP na main camera lens and 8MP na ultra wide lens and 2MP na macro lens. You can shoot up to 4K 30fps and sa harap meron sa 32MP na front facing camera shooting up to 1080p and 30fps. And yung front camera is being equipped with a EIS so meaning may dyan mas stable siya when you're taking videos. Now, shooting some still photos out there during the daytime, well, really impressive, lalo mga bokeh shots niya are really nice and ang easy mag-focus na itong camera niya. I believe one of the fastest to focus sa mga camera na nagamit ko for year 2022 and I really love it and by far, uh, ang kanyang pictures are sharp and very nice. When it comes to indoors, I don't expect this one to underperform dahil ang camera niya is well, probably one of the greater camera na na-try natin for this year. And tatakrino yan. So I know that the focus is more mainly focused sa kanyang camera. And definitely it did perform. It didn't disappoint sa akin. Taking some close-in food shot like this is definitely impressive. So tinry ko ang kanyang camera sa gabi using the Mario Silicon X na night mode. So was able to capture in some of these uh, photos na I can say really impressive. And some of the selfies na sa gabi, well, not so. But overall, ang kanyang uh, rear camera taking in night shots is definitely, for me, ang ganda. Using the front camera, kind of 32MP na front-facing camera for outdoor and indoor shot are definitely nice. Especially when you're taking some bokeh shot. Okay siya, pero medyo namuti siya ng kote. But overall, well, it's pretty acceptable. Check out some of these front-facing videos that I ko using the front-facing camera. Niya, na pwede ko calibrate ang kanyang aperture from 1.4 to 16. Guys, right now I'm vlogging using the Oppo Reno Pro, and I can see the recording at 1080p. This one is pretty nice. The resolution is nice. You can use this for uh, online vlogging or just uh, live streaming, or you can even use this for Zoom meeting and of course Bible Viber video chat. And by the way, I'm using the default microphone, so what's your comment? Hit it on the comment section below. Taking some 4K videos in the rear is definitely okay. Ang ganda ng kanyang color. Medyo mas warm lang siya konti based sa aking observation. So guys, anong verdict natin dito sa Oppo Reno 8 Pro? I can say that the camera is definitely the one na hahanap-hanapin mo dito sa phone na ito. It has performed better than the Reno 8. The Mari Silicon X pagdating sa gabi is okay. Lala, I love the way that I was able to play around with the front-facing camera. Na pwede ko adjust ang aperture para mag maging bokeh ang background while, while taking the video. It's nice and it's a function that probably might be good if you're taking videos sa TikTok. Na gusto mo focus sa sarili mo and eh, medyo mag background blur lang sa iba. I think it should be a nice 
function dito sa phone na ito na you might want to take advantage of if lalo if you're a TikToker and of course this one si Oppo Reno 8 Pro only comes right now as of the moment sa G Plan 1499 hindi pa siya ready for retail out there sa mga stores so I've been trying to search din so wala rin ako nakita so I have no idea kung magkano mag SRP nito so guys, if you like this phone, don't forget to check out the Globe Center's G Plan 1499. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon so you don't miss our future uploads here on my channel. So I'm Wala Sir Richman, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up?